an expansive time will come. Among the lilies laps the tender night. Winds and waters grow lulled and scarcely speak. A perfect sunlight rests upon the rustling forest tips. The air drowsy, weaving silent dances. A song in a cornfield. The reapers are reaping. Mary laughs. From where? From where? And these, out from their despair, show happiness we do not share. Trilled their song and swelled their song in labyrinth of throbs, pauses, cadences, clear noted as a falling brook. An expansive time will come. We will be old and dottery, yet will soar our spirit. All who love us will gather round and honor us. Grant us a perfection of conversation which invites them to a true knowledge of you. Rainbows crowned some of our days and years, not all. Yet may they be led to see the sufficiency, even excellence, of all which occurs in their lives and ours. This all the sheep run, worn and torn by running hither and thither through the thorns with none to direct us. None because we will not see, will not hear, a desperate flight. The tears and sighs of the Savior fall again upon the earth. Compassion moved to us and not we to you. For stains upon your holiness are stubborn unbelief. Less do you care of error than of idolatry. All must worship only you. Why any else? Who are they? What have they done for us? Even at Jerusalem, why have you not known this day the things which belong unto peace? For of the earth, even of one hundred passing years, were one hundred millions slain in war. You sigh from the bottom of your heart against our obstinate sin, that is, of unbelief. There shall no sign be given to this generation but the sign of Jonah. Love lies at the bottom of your compassion at your cross. One day, and swelled in sheer delights, we will look back and wonder, why did we not see above us, among us, ever? You say, all this that the world may know, I love the Father. And as the Father gives me commandment, so I do. Why cannot we also do? Our cross is joined to yours unto the Father's satisfaction. Your life and ours laid down for our friends. And you did not choose me, but I chose you, you say and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit. For herein is my Father glorified. We, all of us, will be so amazed, so amazed at the glory that will be seen. Let us have the same mind in us that was in Christ Jesus. Let abide in your distinct, enriching love, all of us. You loved us utterly, and this a fashion of your glory. Yours also are common movements of affection which bind man to man, man to God in friendship. Let us all, each and together, be the disciples whom Jesus loves. Amen.